hello everybody i'm just gonna wait just a second to make sure everybody is live and we're gonna go ahead and start with this oh hold on let me get my intro you are watching melody lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time hi guys thank you for coming i am live on facebook on melody lane designs page and then i'm also live on youtube and the chat you see over to the right is the chat on YouTube. We come here about a half an hour before a video and just chit chat about anything, ask questions. Hello, everybody on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, somebody on Facebook is asking, how do you get to YouTube? You go to youtube.com slash Melody Lane and you'll see the live video right there. Just click there and uh, you can click on live chat. And if you chat, you will see your chat in the video there. So today we're making a box um this uh, this will be my third box but it'll be the fourth one making it because I already made this one so this is the box it has a tree with a swing and it has a bird bath I've shown this in many of my videos so today we're going to actually try to put this together and look it has a little cricket guys in there where are my cricket guys they're over here somewhere all right so let's get started I don't know how long this video is gonna be so um, let's go over to designs not design space um, I did I'm not gonna be doing the tree let me show you that first so here I already did the tree and the little tire swing and I already did the bird bath I've already done a video on this so the video to watch learn how to do this is in the description of this video on YouTube on Facebook when I do these lives I can't really add uh, links unless my assistant is adding them for me oh it's in there she's so good um, so if you're on Facebook share my video to places you think will like my video and let me I want to show you the people who support my channel already have this file. They've had it for a little over a week. No, they've had it since last Thursday, I think, or maybe sooner. Uh, and some of them have made it. And I want to show you, Evelyn Elston had a great um, idea. You can check out her YouTube at Elston's Creations. Elston, oh, I always get it wrong. Elston, um, can somebody share her channel in the chat? Elston's I think it's Evelyn Elston on Facebook. Um, so what she did is she embossed it just like I did in that video. No, I didn't do it in the video. I did it in my Empress video. So I did do a video showing you how to emboss it, but she embossed the trunk. And look at her tire is so cute. She put nine layers of cardstock. She cut the tire out nine times and glued them together to give it more of a thicker look she also added squirrels to hers which i thought oh that's a great idea you can add anything you want to these projects you don't have to just use the there she is elston expressions i thought it started with an e thank you evelyn uh and then she also put like an old penny underneath to, to help it stand up but look at her bark too she embossed that that's so cool so i just wanted to share what uh she has done and let's go over here to my project look my desk looks like a mess if, if this seems too dark let me know i don't have any lights on because the light will glare on the box you see that one light that's a solar tube i have solar lights in my house so here's the box from the top to be honest this is the first time I'm really looking at it from the top <laughs> um, and then from the sides I use pattern paper on the house you can use anything you want but um, 
So we're going to put this together now. And I'm going to start with the acetate and the actual cube part because acetate is harder to dry. So we're going to do that. If you have questions, please put them in all caps and I will try to answer your questions as much as possible. We also have other people in the chat uh, answering questions like uh, Jamie. I don't think Jamie actually gets to watch my videos. She's always so busy answering questions and so many other people are always here answering questions and I really appreciate the help with that. So thank you. Oh, Evelyn says the tree was embossed with the Anna Griffin folder. Um, so I am going to get started. How many people here have Cricut Access? Because most of these images are in Cricut Access. So first what we're doing, this actual cube though, I just designed from shapes like squares. Lots of squares. And I added score lines. The score line is in the basic shapes. And I'm just folding it on the score lines that I've prepared. And using my scraper, my large scraper. I love this scraper. To harden those up. How do I know if they're the right way? They're not. Hold on. I need to do these all the right way. And I didn't. This one needs to go that way. It's really no big deal because I can just fold it the other way. That's what I get for starting it and not finishing it. But I wanted to start it so you guys didn't have to sit through the whole thing. If you're watching the replay and you have this file and you're just watching so you can see how it's made, you might want to like watch how I do one and then fast forward a little or you can also always watch in high speed. So this piece is the bottom piece. It's the biggest piece. Let me show you here. See how this piece, you can see where it's scored. The biggest piece is on the bottom, and then this is the top, and then you always want this piece on the same side. It doesn't really matter what side, just as long as they're all the same. Hi from the Netherlands. Hi, Tamara on Facebook. This paper that I used on the house is uh, Cricut paper. It's in one of the Cricut scrapbook paper packs. And I like the colors and thought it was fun for summer or spring. Um, what do you use to emboss? I just, I use the cuddle bug. I have the cuddle bug and then I also just got the Anna Griffin Empress. You can see me unbox that in a video. So now this is Cricut Acetate. These are cut out. One, two, three, four, and two here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put glue on the edge here and glue this down. I'm using art glitter glue for this one. I get it from maymaymadeit.com. She can't really ship this in the winter time because it, if it freezes, it's no good. So it's really not good to order it from anywhere in the winter time when it's freezing, even though other places will ship it, but you don't want it if it was damaged. You don't want a bottle that doesn't work. That's why I always trust May May with all of her stuff. You can call her if you want it. And if it's warm enough or when it's warm enough, she'll send it. 
or if you live in a warm climate, if it's warm between Alabama where she lives and where you live, she may get it sent to you. So this piece here, see this one doesn't have any score lines. This is um, the actual top of the cube. So I'm using these wonder clips just to hold this in place. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it because it's going to be moving. I might be moving it around and I don't want it to I want it to dry really good. That's why I'm doing these first. These are all the same size, the acetate. How many people here are one of my supporters? Whoops, I'm getting glue on the acetate. Raise your hand if you're a supporter. If you're a supporter, you get all of my Cricut Design Space files. All of them that I've ever shared for the past four years. Five. Five years? Yeah. It's been since, yeah. I've had Design Space actually since January of 2014. I got it before it was actually released to the public so I could play with it and learn it so I could show you guys how to do it. So I've had it for a really, really long time. Okay, I need these big ones. Edge. Nope, need the big ones on the edge. All right, I'm gonna have to mute my computer, getting too many messages. Thank you, Glenda. She says she supports me everywhere. I really appreciate the support and it helps me be able to keep coming up with more designs and answering your questions and helping you. You guys are like my full-time job and I love it. A job you love to do. And I have so many ideas, you guys, my head is flooding with ideas aren't they Callie mm -hmm. like I it's like I have so many ideas I just need the time to make them and I'm going to tell you guys I don't know if you guys are going to be happy with me on this I'm creating a project that I really love if this project you do have to have the ma maker to cut it unless you can cut it on other things and just keep duplicating it to make it a little thicker I do have one project like it that you don't need the maker, but I'm cutting chipboard and <laughs> you have to cut at least two things of chipboard. And the first one I cut, guess how long it took me to cut? Jamie, you can't answer because you already know. This, I set it to cut and it took a while to get through to tell me how long it was gonna take to finish and this was on Saturday. And Saturday night I went to my mom's house for my stepdad's birthday and we played some games and stuff. Well, I, I set this up like a couple of hours before I had to go. And I'm like, oh no. I guess it's just gonna be cutting while I'm gone. So I came back home after a few hours, like a lot of hours and it was still cutting and so I went on Facebook tried to answer some questions and help some people out share some sales and I was just exhausted so I went to bed it was still cutting but it's an awesome project so 
I don't know how many of you will do it. It will take two days to finish. It took, I think, like, I think like almost nine hours. When it got through with the first one, it said like eight hours and 22 minutes it was gonna finish cutting. It's kind of intricate. And chipboard and knife blade. Yeah, like nine hours. It was crazy. And the second piece, I did not pay attention to where I placed the chipboard and where the cuts were on the mat. So the knife got stuck because I had it cutting off the mat and it was completely my fault. It was almost done cutting. Otherwise that, or I have to redo that one. The second one was taking six hours to cut. So it's not, maybe two makers is a really good idea. Okay, so I'm gluing this acetate on these. I'm almost done. Sorry this is taking so long. But then by the time we're ready to put this together, we'll be good. I'm just gonna put two on that one. All right, this is the last one of acetate. Then we'll put the house together. Kelly, have you seen my little Cricut guys? No, I haven't seen them. They were on my desk here in the corner for days. They were just here, like, go over on this side and, no, they were over here. Because I cut them out when I did my first one. Because I did them as print and cut. Maybe, the not from here. She's laughing at my half-eaten cookie. <laughs> oh, oh, there they are. Okay. Little guys. Oh, and I need these little things. I forgot. Can you get those out yeah. of the drawer? Oh, the little openings? The little poofy, yeah. puffies. Okay, we're done with this part. Sorry, this is boring. Hi, Bobby. Um, Bless Mama says you're having trouble, trouble opening files. All you do is click on the files and they should open to the project and all you have to do is click make it. My files are not SVG files. That's one thing that are easier about my projects. They're just design space projects. So this project here, if you don't have access, it'll charge you for the images because they're Cricut images. Okay, we're gonna set that over to the side. Okay, so now I did some print and cut little Cricuts. These are an access. I just did print and cut. And what I'm gonna do which I've already done to this one because I did too many for my first one. We're gonna put a little, see that? It's a little foam square on their bellies because they're gonna be looking through the windows. But first, oh, let me fold the house. This house is in design space. Um, I think I, might have added that. I think I added this part. Usually when I use um, 
access images, I usually add something to them. So we're just folding these down and then there's score lines here for each of the sides. This house has no door. <laughs> It's just how it was made in design space. So I'm finding all the score lines and I'm just folding those in. And then the, can you see this? These sides has a little fold in so we can glue this together. Oh, and then each wall of the house will fold in. And even if you don't see the score lines, you can kind of see how it folds, you know, it kind of folds like right where you would imagine it to. So what we do is we put glue on each of these tabs here. For those of you who have never done paper crafting, I know there's a lot of people out there that has never done paper crafting. And then we're gonna put glue on these sides. Kelly, do you wanna turn the light on? I think it'll be okay now that I'm not working with the acetate and it'll be a little brighter. Okay. Yeah, can you guys see better? So I'm putting glue there on those tabs and I'm going to kind of just fold that on there on the edge and then roll it onto the other edge. And this is how I get glue all over my mat. So I'm gonna hold it there. Actually, I I think I folded that one too much. Oh, I was gonna put the little critters in first, I think. I don't think it really matters. We can stick them in from the bottom. I'll go ahead and make the house. So then we're gonna put glue here. Oh, and in the file, let me show you. I have everything in the Ziploc. This stuff was all cut out last week. I have these pieces in the file because in my winter house, these you can put, and you can make these any color you want, you can put in for the inside of the house. And I made mine blue because yellow might blend in with these colors. You can make them any color you want. I'm not going to use these. So what you wanna do is you wanna glue these in here first, and then they're just squares that will go over these. You just put, you can just cut a piece of scrap paper if you want, but it's in the file, but I'm not using that. So if you are using it, or if you cut these pieces, that's what these pieces are. They're for the inside of the windows, okay? So that will fit there. You could put pop dots on them and give it a little space if you wanted to. I'm just not gonna use them. And then this is the roof. So we'll put this on too. Yeah, I think this is fun. I don't know why I'm making these or why I love these. It, it brings out that little girl in me who likes to make things and I kind of like to build things. This is why I love the Cricut. Now, there's so many people out there, especially in my um, Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. There's tons of people who only do vinyl, have never done paper, and are scared to death to try paper. Oh, I think paper is so much fun. Raise your hand if you're a paper crafter and you love it. And if you're watching the replay, you can still comment, say I'm a paper crafter. Uh, you use the green mat, the standard grit mat, to cut the acetate. 
yeah, I'm going to make a box with lights. And I'm going to make a, an adapter to the box to where you can add it to the top. So you're going to have a nighttime view. I like using vinyl and paper together. Oh, and we're going to. Um, this file has yellow butterflies and orange butterflies, and it has clouds that are all in vinyl. I didn't glue that together very well. Oh, well, it's just going to be a little odd shaped, I think. Oh, we're not glued to it. And when I'm doing videos, most of the time I craft, I'm doing a live video. So my crafts, they're not even good enough to sell. Sometimes I feel they're not good enough to give away. Because I'm trying to teach you guys how to do it, I'm not always doing the best, being more careful. I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it. Okay, now here's the roof. You know, this kind of looks cool, the roof like it is. But I have a roof. Go ahead and use it. So I'm just gonna, my dogs are snoring again. Oh, and we're gonna put a bird on the roof after we put the crickets in. Okay. So here's the cricket with the little foam square adhesive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick her, she's a her because she's pink, and we put the foam square kind of at the bottom, and then we're gonna glue her or stick her, let me get her straight, just stick her in the window and push so she stays. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. Now, if you wanted to, you could stick this behind her or something. Okay, here's, I use thermal web foam stickers and you're just gonna put it on top. And then you peel off the top paper and stick them in. This is my favorite Cricut Cutie with their hands up. They're just so excited. Oh, I didn't make a chimney yet. I forgot about that. You can make a chimney for your house. The hardest part, I think, is laying everything on the ground and putting it, deciding where the grass is gonna go and everything. Okay, so now I have all the critters in there. Thank you, Callie, for sharing the links and stuff. Oh, she says there is a house that has a chimney. Yeah, you can go into design space and find your own images. Okay. Now, Let's, there's all these flowers too. Let's go ahead and put these flowers together. These have all been done. And when you're doing these, 
you want to make sure there's I made three different colors of flowers and of course you can choose your own paper um, and you want to make sure if you have two of the same that you're not using the two same ones on each one uh, like this has one pink one because we're doing both sides so the next one you might want to do um, two of the pink and one yellow like we don't want to keep doing them all the same otherwise you won't have enough colors or you'll end up with one heavy being all the same color or only having two colors but you can do them all pink all purple ones whatever you want so these are really easy you have two of each color of the two sizes so there'll be two yellows two pink flowers and then the purple so we have big yellow and Put that there. Here's a big yellow. Put that there. Now, they do actually fit perfectly. You can get them to fit perfectly. I'm just trying to go faster for you guys. Hey, Callie, those messages that I got, can you let them know I'm in a live video? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Did I run out of flowers? No, I'm good. <laughs> You can pick them up real easy when you already have glue on your finger. Okay. <laughs> um, so these, all the flowers and all the grass have a score line. You can find these flowers in Design Space, but I added the score line and the cut. So they're gonna cut. So this is same for the grass. I try to do a lot of it in advance. So you're gonna fold one up, and then this one is gonna be folded down. It does not matter which way you go. So they're like that. And so they will stand up. See? Isn't that cute? They just stand there. So here's the grass. There's different kinds of grass. Now, you're gonna need scissors because you're gonna just need to place these where they fit. On mine, I even cut the flowers. And I have a lot of extra grass from all of that. These I made to put on the acetate. There is a score line there, but I don't think you really need the score line. I'm gonna glue this at the bottom of the acetate. So I'm gonna save these until the acetate is dry and we put stuff there okay so i also cut out clouds these clouds are free images so i used a uh, cricut white removable the premium stuff i think it is <laughs> i know it's cricut and then uh we use these so we're gonna this piece goes on the bottom and it has score lines in a square because when you put the cube on top, it's going to go on top of these score lines on these places, but it's not. I 
kind of did that without gluing it on the first box and I didn't like it. So after having the tree and the house and all the grass and flowers all completely done, they're glued to this paper. And then I figured out I could stuff this inside the cube and then kind of lay it on top of that. So that's what I did in the first one and I'm hoping it works with this other one. Okay. Judy says she's afraid of what her emoji would look like. She's never made one. We well, just have to practice. You can make it. You can change it. You never have to save it. Okay, here's some grass I didn't do so I can show you. So it just has a score line there. So you want to fold one up and one down. And if I were to cut this in half, I would also cut a little slit here and fold it the other way. So you always have two pieces going the other way so it can stand up on its own. Well, I didn't fold it very well, but we glue them down, they're good. Okay, where's my tree? Did I show you guys my tree yet? Oh, it's way under here. Got it, behind my computer. So here's my tree, if you're just joining. Yes, you could have used window cling for the clouds. Judith, you can make it any way you want it. The boat bitmoji, you make it how you want it to look. Okay, so I'm going to try to have most things within this scored line here. You guys can't see that score line. Oh, there you see it a little bit. It's just a score line, just for a guide. And... Where do I want to put the house? You can put the house anywhere you want. You can put all this stuff anywhere you want. You can put the flatness, like the flat part, outside that area. And like the grass, if that part is outside that area, that's fine. And when I made mine, I'm like, I messed up and I, I had it way over, only on one side. It still worked. Okay. So first what we're going to do is we're going to put down our house and our tree and our bird bath. Okay. And I think I'm going to put this over here. I like to have room for flowers all the way around my house, just a little bit. So I'm going to put that there. Oh, and another thing to watch out for, make sure your tree is within um, the side of this. It cannot, like you can't put your tree here and have the branches go out past where the box will be. The acetate is going to be on the edge of this green line. So please be careful um, with that. Okay? Be careful with, um, make sure you before you glue it down, it is within those lines. Okay, I'm going to put mine here, I think. You can use hot glue. Oh wait, I want my little swing over here by my, my bird bath. And I'm pushing this down a little bit so that will go there. And then I'm putting glue on these. You could fold these in and put glue on the outside and try, but I just think you won't be able to push them down as well. And it might pop up. I don't know. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Okay. I want to 
let's put hmm I don't know what there's three I did three different colors of grass and they're different sizes so the grass isn't all one size Okay, I'm gonna put this grass down first. And I'm using all Cricut paper. I love Cricut cardstock and they just came out with new colors. Did you guys see their new packs? You get like the greens and you get, I think five or six different colors of greens. Stick this one down. And okay, I'm going to stick this down now. Put the bird. Oh, I want to put a bird on the house. Let's do that now. So I'm going to put a big glob of glue. There's six birds that I put in the file. These are all just birds in access. And I'm going to hold it here for a second. I just think the bird is just a fun little addition to the top. And you guys can't see that very well. I'll show it to you after it dries. So we got the bird bath. This is party foil. For I glued it down for the bird bath. And I think I'm going to cut some of these flowers. So I cut the flowers, so I'm going to add another slit and bend it. So we have two of them going different ways. And I'm just gonna stick this right here. Now, when I did the first one, I laid it all out first and then I changed it a lot. <laughs> but you might wanna lay out all the grass you want and then, um, so I'm gonna move on to this side. Um, I think I'm gonna use this long one here too. This one down. Yeah, aren't the color tones of the new Cricut colors awesome? You can make a flower garden and put all the flowers together if you want. You can do it any way you want to do it. That's what I love about these projects. So I'm going to put this one down on the other side. I'm going to put that here. Uh, and I'm going to cut this one. Stick 
stick it in there. Where's those other two flowers? I'm gonna cut this flower, fold the other one, so it'll stand. Thanks, Jamie. So I kind of want to look at it and make it so it looks kind of good from all ways. So you have the grass going every different way. So in the front, I kind of put it the way it goes. And then in here, I'm going to add a little grass going the opposite way from this side. in there. I'm going to cut the flowers again. I didn't do, I, it's not going to look the same as the other one. I'm just doing whatever is in my head what I feel like doing. I'm just going to kind of try to fill it in. And I had lots of extra on my first one, so you may not need all of the pieces. And you just got to kind of turn it around and see what you like. Cut this one. And put that there. You know what? I'm going to put this up against the house. And I'll put this one up against the house. Fun. Actually, I want the pink one up against. So I'm going to turn it this way. Where's everybody from? Who has little girls or granddaughters that would love to make something like this? I think it's fun. I would love it when I was a kid if somebody would have sat and did stuff like this with me. My mom wasn't the crafty type. I think she was. She just never tried. And we also have a base to make for this too. So always just make sure you have two different sides when needed. Sometimes you can get away without two different ones. Pam's from the Netherlands. Welcome. Are you all subscribed to my YouTube channel? I'm going to be having a giveaway coming soon. In my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, I'm giving away a one year's access. So you can win one year of Cricut access. So here's how it's coming. So you have to look in the group announcements if you're in that group. We need some flowers here. But I don't want to cover up. Now this one, I'm going to cut off some of this bottom part. Just so it'll fit better right here. And that's fine. See how I cut that off? You can cut off as needed to stick it places you need it. You only need a little bit. You don't have to have it all like that. I'm 
going to cut off some of this too. We got more flowers. Let's put some flowers over here in front of the tree. And I'm going to cut these off a little and make them smaller. Because I don't have a lot of room there. Oh, it would be cute with a white picket fence. Oh, I could have done the white picket fence. You can do that. There are white picket fences in Design Space. So I have this. It has a little snail on it. So I put this on each side, but you totally could do a white picket fence. What a great idea. Uh-oh, the tree's in the way here. The root of the tree. I get it. I did have to adjust these flowers a lot because they were too skinny and they were hanging down. So I did adjust those. I'm going to try to in there and stick that down just to push it uh oh we're blocking his view there we go and Uh oh, get back up there. And I think we can add this in there. Okay, I'm gonna try to just stick these right here. Because it really just depends on how close you put them together. You can glue the tabs underneath each other and put everything closer together. And like Evelyn did, you can add some squirrels or bunnies or anything you want. Okay. So I think for now... Oh no, the tire got stuck on the flower. Okay, maybe you shouldn't put the tire too close to all the flowers. And push that down so it'll glue. We still have all these flowers. Here. I hate to waste flowers. I think I had more stuff in my first one. Make 
making that smaller so I can fit them. Here's some little grass pieces. Let me stick this in there. I think it looks better the more the grass because it just kind of looks full. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side. Okay, and we, I'm gonna put this up on my maker. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna move all this out of the way. So now, first we're gonna do is put the clouds on before we put the box together. And I'm not using, you can put the clouds on the inside or outside. Just remember this bigger piece is the bottom. So we don't want to put clouds at the bottom. It'll make it so we can't see what's going on in there. Oh, I forgot something. Let's do this while I'm remembering. I put butterflies, I'm not using transfer tape. You can just pick them off like a sticker. Uh oh, my bird's falling over. So I like, stick one there. So I'm sticking, I know you can't see that one. The butterflies on the house and on the flowers. Oh, and we got the birds. I'm also going to stick some of the butterflies on the acetate. These were just cut out of vinyl. So do you see this butterfly right here? And I put one right here in the house. You could make paper butterflies too. You could cut these out of paper. I used vinyl because I just thought it would be easier just to stick them on. And I didn't use all of them in my first one. So you have extras. You can always add to something else. Because they really don't take up much vinyl. You can use scraps to make these butterflies. And they're just sticky on the inside. The other side, I'm not putting anything. It's just going to be sticky where it's sticking off. And that's okay with me, if that's okay with you. Let's put one on the house. Can't get it on. There we go. You could add more birds to the bird bath. I'm going to add some birds to the tree. I put six birds in the project, but you can cut out more or less. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Joan says she's... Uh, this is so cute. She wants to live here. It's a little cricket village. Oh, and you can put some in the grass, not just the flowers. I put it in the grass, too. Uh-oh, this flower came off from something. Where was it sticking? Put some in the grass. So I just roll this kind of to take it off. My dogs are snoring again. I think I have to say that in every video.
Okay, do, tell me, you guys, does this file intimidate anybody? Is anybody afraid to make something like this? Like, to put it together? Okay, now we're saving some butterflies to put on the acetate. They're going to just fly up in the air. Well, I'm not worried about the backs being sticky because they're going to be enclosed inside the cube. Okay, so now we're going to have a, oh, we're going to put clouds. As long as we put them, and there's some extra clouds. I did not use all the clouds. And uh, I'm just going to stick them. I'm going to stick about two on each side. I didn't use them all from the first box I did. You can tell the glue is almost dry because it's almost clear. Oh, got to remember, always put this big part at the bottom. I am fully confident that you guys can make this better than I can. And there's no wrong way. And if you mess up making the cube, if you do this part, part first and you mess up making the cube, you can always just recut the cube. And if you don't want to waste the acetate, you can cut out the acetate and re-glue it. Don't just get mad and throw things away. That's a waste. You can reuse things. And if you don't want any clouds in your spring box, you don't have to have them. Uh-oh, I don't know if I have enough clouds. Hold on. I don't think I do for two. I thought I did. And the other one I had leftovers. Oh, let's put this at the bottom. Oh. I don't have enough, but what I think happened is I cut them both the same time, both of these at the same time, and I might have had more for the first one because they should have been part of this one. But all you have to do is duplicate. Now this one, you see it has no extra pieces. This one is the top. So you can just put them where you want. Let me have two here. And put this here. So because this one is the top, you're gonna to look from the top. So it's okay to have them anywhere on here. I will not be putting butterflies on this one. And I think I'm going to put the butterflies on after I have everything done. And I'll put them on the outside because on the first one, I was like, oh, I have too many butterflies there and it's in the way of seeing something or there's two, it's right in front of another butterfly already in the box. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this box together. Oh, no, I glued a hair in here. So this one goes in the middle. So now I'm just going to place these around. So 
the big piece that goes on the bottom is on the outer edge of each one. So this one faces this way, this one will face this way, and this one will face up that way. Now, when you're doing these projects, have courage and be kind. <laughs> I have that right on my desk. Okay. If you want to see the video on this, it's on my channel too. YouTube.com slash Melody Lane. So what we're going to do here is we have this is the top piece. We're going to add glue to this very top piece and we're going to glue it right to this edge here. Okay, so I'm going to add glue here and we're going to put it there and we're also going to line up the edge here with the edge right here on this side. So we're going to line up the edge to this edge and on this side, we're going to line it up with the score line, which I did not do very well. So make sure your score lines are good on the score line. They're done right. That one's not perfect. Okay, we're ready. Let's. Yes, that was Chuck Couture. The Have Courage, Be Kind, which is now open to Canada. So I'm just going to push that down, make sure it's lined up good. Not perfect. There we go. Now I lifted that off. Let's try again. Oh, I'm going to re-glue it. More glue. This is why I like to use glue because you can move it. to the edge and move it where it needs to go before it dries. That looks good. I'm just gonna push on that a little bit. Bye, Joan. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one right here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So if you're watching the replay, just do the exact same thing I did and skip ahead. For all of those here live, thanks for being here. I really enjoy you guys here and I sometimes learn things from you guys. So thanks for being here. And I know others are learning from your comments. And you make these boring, boring parts more interesting. With At least they can read the chat and watch me do the same thing. I'm going to turn it this way so I can see this better. And I'm going to line this up with the edge. Oops.
Does anybody have any questions? It's really not hard to do this. You just have to sit down and start doing it and start playing with it. Okay. You could also do it like I did the Valentine mailbox. You could use the cube I did there and it has a lid. So you could make one with a lid instead of doing it this way. And it's the same size file, so you can use that one. It's the Valentine mailbox, and then I also shared a blank cube without the Valentine stuff. It's just blank. So you guys have that option. Okay, now this time I'm going to put glue just right here. Let's see if this is easier. if it is or not. I'm going to line up the edges. Yes, you could use craft board for the cube. I didn't just because I want it blue. But you could use the white craft board and color it blue or just you have it white. You can choose whatever color you want. Okay, that one was good. I find it easier to turn it and to always work with the one right here closest to me. Uh, the acetate I get from, um, I said Instagram because I saw your name is Insti, um, Amazon. I don't know why the Cricut acetate is not in the Cricut shop. I, I guess I need to tell them. I don't know if they know that it's not there. I'm just double checking I have this in the correct spot. Because here I need to line this one up with the score line. There's nothing to measure where it goes up. So the last one is harder to put down. Line it up with a score line. That's why I went up to here like this to make sure it would fit in there. Okay, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done with the whole project. We gotta do the bottom part. That's really easy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start closing this up. So what we do now, now on every edge and their opposite edges, edges. So when it's right here, it's on the left side. If I were to turn it, each one would be on the left side. And what we're going to do is put glue, can you see this, on this edge here, and then we're going to glue it up to here. And actually, I can probably do it like this so I can push down on it like that, okay? Hmm. Let's do it this way first, then we'll move it. So I'm going to add glue to this edge, and you want to have it right up to the score line. That's the most important area is right up to the score line. So now I'm gonna move this up and I'm just gonna lay it down this way and I'm gonna watch here and have it right up to the edge of that paper. 
and then I'm pushing it down on the edge, just kind of using my nail to push that down. Ooh, winter storm warnings in Northeast Illinois. I used to live an hour south of Chicago. I don't miss it. Okay, now this one, I have to make sure this is up above that one. I'm gonna put this up like this and put glue and get it down at the bottom too. I'll show you the glue on this one. Can you see the glue I did? Okay, now I'm gonna put it up here, but I'm gonna go down here so I can push it right up to the edge of that paper and push down on it so I have something firm to push on. It's so different being here from up in Illinois and New York where the ice and snow was. It's 70 degrees. I just can't imagine it anymore. Okay, so now I'm gonna move this down like this and put, I'm, I'm kind of pushing this one out of the way so I can get to the glue here. And then I'm gonna move it down so I can push it into the, to the edge. And push it down. Okay, now we only have one left. Are you guys excited? I should probably have uh, scored this before. <laughs> okay, last one. Woohoo! Can I move this out of the way? Okay. Oh, we got to put the birds on the tree. I'm like, oh, and I forgot something else too, the grass, this grass. Let me go ahead and put this in. So this grass, I'm just going to glue in just down here at the bottom of each acetate. So I'm going to do that. Okay, who's been here watching since the beginning of the video? It's been an hour and 20 minutes. This I'm so glad I did the trees in advance and the uh, bird bath. I keep wanting to call it a birdhouse. That's why I did those in advance in another video. Because I'm like, this is going to take too long. It's a long project, but it's fun. And you don't have to do it all at once. I would say cut it all out in advance. I like to put my projects in a baggie until they're ready. And I used small snack size baggie to like put the flowers and stuff in, the little things that you don't wanna lose. And then these bigger things were in um, a big Ziploc baggie. I had two small ones for this project. Okay. 
Okay, got those in. And let's add some birds. Where did my birdies go? Hmm. Did you guys see my birds? Oh, I found them. They're in the snack bag, so I don't lose them. Oh, is May May live? <laughs> She's been going back and forth with me and May May. Let's just stick a few birds in the tree. And of course you can make the birds any color you want. Oh yeah, you could fill it in with Easter candy. Okay. We're good. All right. Okay, let's make the stand real fast. And then there's also these parts. I didn't use these on my other ones because I decided I liked it better without it. So I'm going to show you what these are for. Hold on. You guys can't see. Okay, so these are to cover up these bottom pieces. I have them for all my cubes. And I thought, well, I need these. On my other cubes, I have them, they, they just cover this part. This is craft board, and they just cover this on the other ones. But I thought, well, this is blue, but the bottom should be green because the sky is blue and the grass is green. So I thought, well, I need this to cover that up. And actually, the ones in the cup file, I took a little bit off of these. I sliced off because I thought these were too big. Um, and I kind of liked it without it. I liked the look of the cube. So it's totally up to you. They're there if you want them. And if you don't want them, don't use them. You can always hide them so you don't cut them and waste paper. Oh, we got to do this part. Okay, so this is craft board. I use the scoring wheel to score this. Actually, the double scoring wheel in my maker. I don't know if craft board will score very well in the Explore machines. If you have a scoring board, you might want to try that. You could turn the score into right by just putting a pen in the machine so it writes where you want it to score and then you can take it to a scoreboard and then you will know where to score it so you also have that option and then all of these little tabs just fold in and then we're going to put glue on those tabs And we're gonna glue them to the inside. So when you're doing paper projects, you want a glue to glue the tabs on the inside so you don't see them anymore. This is how you make boxes and lids and all kinds of things if you've not done any paper crafting. I know there's so many people new to Cricut and all they know is iron-on or vinyl, but they're missing out on the absolutely best part. At least that's what I think. I love paper crafting. Oh, I need to hold this glue down. It takes a little longer for craft board to stick because it's just so thick. Yeah, this the topper I'm talking about for the glue, I got that from uh, May May Made It. She gets those once in a while and she sells out of hundreds of them within five minutes. My assistant wanted one for her mom. And I said, well, get me one too. And it was, it was, 
She sells out so fast. Yeah, we can only get one. I've had to do that with glitter paper before the scoring wheel came out. I used a pen so I would know where to score it and then I took it to a scoreboard and scored it. But it's better if you can do the back, right on the back. So if you wrote on the back of this, then you can just flip it over and score it. Okay, so this is the bottom where everything's gonna sit. This is gonna go on here. Fold this in a little better. Okay, now here's what we're gonna try to do. So, now how I did my other houses or cubes, I did this and glued this to the top, but then I have that blue paper in there around the edge. Do you see that square inside there? I don't want that. So I'm going to try to put this in. And then flip it up like this. And oops. Fold these bottoms in. They all fold in. There. So now you can't see the blue inside. It's all green. So now we have to kind of glue it. And that's the hard part. So I'm gonna add glue. Okay, I'm taking this little tip off because I don't need that. I don't know if it's all gonna glue down real well. But I think it will enough. I don't even know if it really needs to. So I'm going to fold all these in and kind of shake it down and push all these sides in as far as it'll go. And I think we got it. I can see all that glue in there. But this glue dries clear, so we're good. I think we're good. Now I'm going to put glue on here. And here, I'm, I'm gluing this green part to here, too. So we're going to be good. It won't come up. So I'm just checking all the edges and make sure it's all clear before I really get it down there. Fun, fun, fun. Could turn this upside down and really push it in on the edges. Because that's where we really want it to stick and not separate is on the very edge. Okay, now the last thing is more butterflies. And I find it easier just to stick them on with your fingers. And of course you can do other things. You could do birds or anything you really want. So here.
Uh oh, my tire is stuck. <laughs> oh no, my tire is stuck on those flowers. Learn from my mistakes and don't put fl flowers too close to your tire. There is no way for me to get that loose. And it's like totally rang around it. Like I couldn't do that if I tried. But that's okay. I'm just here to teach you guys how to do it. Oh, see, look at that gap there. Can you guys see that gap? Because I didn't put glue on the very edge here. So that's okay. I'm just going to add it now. And on this edge. And that will dry clear. You can also wipe it a little if it gets too much. You can also cover it up with this. Okay, I'm done. Do you like it? Okay, I'm gonna come over here and show it because the glare won't be so bad. Hold on, let me find my camera. Well, now you just see my computer. Can you see? I gotta find the camera. Isn't it just a fun project? I think it's fun to do. And it's just pretty. Look at the the tire. Look how he did that. It, it's it's ring around that purple. It's like if you were playing ring toss, you'd win the big prize with that one. And I think it's fun for little girls to do or um it's really not difficult to do. Doing the cube, you might want to make practice making the cube first and you can any file that you have, if you shrink it all the way down, I would just go to the file of just the cube, shrink it down, and just try to make a smaller one. It might be easier to practice with a small one to see um, if you can make it easier. Like, because it does take a little practice maybe on the cube, but everything else is just gluing pieces down. It's real easy. All right, guys, and I have so many more ideas for more cubes. I don't know what you're going to do with these cubes. So if you make these cubes, and along with all my other projects, um, if you're using my file, please use the hashtag Melody Lane Inspired wherever you share it so we can find them. I also do giveaways with that hashtag if you're a supporter. Oh, yeah, you can put fairy lights. I do have some lights. Um, and you could put, uh, you could probably drill holes at the bottom the way it is now and stick in some lights. And I have an idea for lights at the top to look like stars, something you can put on the box. I haven't created it yet. It's still in my head. Yeah, you guys could use this box and make a fairy garden or, you know, put little fairies and put little gnomes, make a little gnome house. It'd be so much fun. Do whatever you like to do that you are, that you, something you collect or something you just love. It can be anything. Your only limit is your imagination. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Oh, my gosh, it's been an hour and 36 minutes. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking. And thank you to all my supporters. You guys are amazing. And you keep me going with more ideas and more projects to share with you guys. I really love you guys. And I will see you Thursday in a new video. I don't know which one that was going to be yet, but uh, we'll do another project on Thursday. And then Saturday, we have design space class at 11 a.m. 
Eastern every Saturday. And I think it's going to be something about designing. I see so many questions about where do you get an SVG for this? I'm like, well, you can just make it in Design Space. It's really easy. So um, if you have questions about designing in Design Space and creating your own projects, because that's the only way to get exactly what you want is to create your own projects. All right, guys, I will see you Thursday. Bye.